A pair of bills are now law in Arizona meant to protect the vulnerable and their assets in the probate system. Yeah, the bills now in effect are Senate Bill 1291, which adds more rights and protections to stop abuse around those in a conservatorship or guardianship. And then Senate Bill 1038, that one creates a probate advisory panel to review any concerns or procedures. ABC 15 investigator Nicole Griggs spoke with a man who calls himself a victim of the probate court and hopes this benefits, uh, he benefits from these changes. 2007, a horrific car accident. I suffered multiple right rib fractures. These are photos after David Redke was T-boned by a tow truck that ran a red light in Phoenix. A diffuse axonal injury, which is uh, caused by your brain kind of going back and forth. The injuries were extensive. Like a ping pong ball in your skull. Despite suffering a traumatic brain injury, he has been able to go on and get two bachelor's degrees and a master's. But when it comes to his money, he's not allowed to manage it. Unfortunately, it just it can happen to anyone. That's because after David won a seven-figure settlement, a lawyer of his told him a conservatorship would help him manage and protect his finances. He called it a soft conservatorship. He's now married, has children in the home. Now I have a family. I can take care of myself. I can manage my own estate. And it'll be certainly a lot cheaper than paying these other people that don't really care about me or my family. He says that because his fiduciary is a stranger. David said it's easy to be placed into a conservatorship, but getting out is another story. His wife has wanted to take over. You would totally be willing, though, to step in that role. Yes, I would. David also worries about how his money is being managed and that more money is going to these strangers than his own family. That's because his estate pays for everyone. His fiduciary charges $165 an hour. The fiduciary's lawyer, $450 an hour. He pays for the guardian ad litem. That's $450 an hour, too. And the court-appointed counsel charges $400 to $425 an hour. It's all about money. It's always about money. The second money is involved. People are getting paid to do this, keeping people in conservatorships. Isn't a conservatorship supposed to protect you and protect your estate, your assets? Yeah, that was the idea. That's why I signed up for it. David now questioning a recent petition where the guardian ad litem, someone who is supposed to do what's in his best interest from a third party standpoint, filed a petition to begin investigating the need for a guardian. A guardianship is even more restrictive. It takes away all your decision making on Maricopa County's own website in order for a guardian to be appointed. An adult person must be deemed to be incapacitated. Capacitated. David and his wife question this because he's gone on to get those degrees while in the conservatorship. They've also labeled him as incompetent, and that's not something an incompetent person can do either. Senate Bill 1291 is a probate reform bill. It adds more transparency, like making sure someone is aware of all their rights, like a right to a jury trial or when you have a court date. Sherry Lund spearheading the effort. You have the right to be in the courtroom. You have the right to um, choose your own attorney. You have the right to a trial by jury. The judge must inform you of your rights. You have a right to use your own doctor instead of the court-appointed doctor. It's something David has been fighting for for a long time, to use his own doctor instead of the doctor recommended by his guardian ad litem. Who hires these doctors? The conservators find that these specific doctors, to, you know, they recommend these doctors. And that's part of David's concerns. As for now, he will have to wait and see if the new probate laws will impact his case. Although this bill doesn't necessarily fix issues with David's concerns of how his money is being managed or spent, Senate Bill 1291 will give individuals like him more rights around their civil liberties. However, that other new law that creates an advisory panel will report back to lawmakers on types of reforms that are needed. I'm investigator Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.